Hey guys, it's Chuka Conroy here to start my next playthrough and everything. That the one that you guys voted for the most, Paper Mario. And yep, that's Virtual Console, all right? No homebrew here. God, imagine living in a world where not everyone's wishes come true. Horrifying, right? <laughs> hey everybody, it's Chuka Conroy, and welcome to my Let's Play of Paper Mario, one of the most important games to my childhood. This was the first time I played any story-driven game at all, and besides Pokemon, it was my first RPG. It shaped my taste in games in ways that are still felt 20 years later. Paper Mario is a different take on the Mario formula, with a larger emphasis on world building and its characters. It has gameplay that's difficult for me to describe without you actually seeing it, but to keep it simple, it feels like a strategy game. The numbers are consistent and small, so you always know exactly what a move is going to do. The tension comes from your execution and strategy, rather than how much some random damage felt like helping you today. There's so much to customize that I find it one of the most replayable games out there, and it held up even better than I expected when trying it again recently. Speaking of replaying, this is the Wii U version of the game. There is no difference in content across the many re-releases that it's had, I just chose this due to some minor performance things. Any version will do just fine, this is just what I personally thought was the best for a video. If I can praise one thing right away, because it's me, I'm gonna say that you are in for an awesome, excellent, and varied soundtrack if you've never heard it before, if these first few songs are any indication. And you bet I'll be eager to stop and listen to so much of it. Anyway, let's get on to why this is one of the all-time greatest, Paper Mario! <laughs> gonna go ahead and start up a new file right here. Ah, what the heck, I'll use my... Nah, nah, I like my real name too much, I can't just use Chugga. What kind of guy do you think I am? Anyway, um, I do feel kind of unfair starting this playthrough, though, because, you know, uh, Koshimar is already doing his, you know, if any guys know who Koshimar is, but, um, you know, he, uh, is taking a break from his and everything like that, and I've been playing this game a lot longer, like, way before he even started his, and he's taking a break from his right now, anyway. Anyway, you never see this anymore, having to name your save file upon starting it up for the first time. So, my name is not Emily, it is E-M-I-L-E, -E, Emil. I'll make the seating host at Chili's get it right one of these days. I don't know why, it just brings me back to a simpler time whenever I have to type this in when starting a game. And there is the mailman. Mail call! I wish I had a flying mailman. Got, what is it with Nintendo games and flying mailman? I mean, seriously, you got Paper Mario, you got Zelda the Wind Waker, you got well, Zelda games in general, I guess, but, you know. Hey, Mario! We got the leather from Princess Beach! Okay, I won't do the voices all the time. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to talk as Luigi. It didn't even cross my mind until right now. Oh god, um, pressure, pressure, pressure. Hey, Mario, we got the letter from uh, Princess Peach. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am going to ruin you so hard, Luigi. I'm sorry. Anyway, though, uh, yeah. I'm... Actually, I wasn't really counting on this game to win the poll. I was expecting you guys to, uh... I was expecting you guys probably to pick Pokemon, though, but nah, I'm cool with it. Paper Mario is still one of my most loved games of all time. I have all three games in the series. Hard to believe it's been 14 years since we last went through this iteration of the Mushroom Kingdom. I wanted to revisit this with tons of new information, and I think every part of this game will feel like a new experience. There's lots of information I didn't know, and that the community as a whole didn't know. This time, we very much will be doing everything. What a magnificent castle, I would never get used to this place. It already looks like a lot of guests are already here. I did not say already twice, you don't make me look bad. Say, I'm Mario, why don't you go to see the, the Princess Peach? I'll go later, I don't have to I have a big enough milk for now. If you press A in front of the door up there, you can open it, yeah. Here is a little secret right here. Already a secret, wow. Okay, this is Princess Peach's room. If you keep talking to this guy, he'll eventually let you in. And there's only two times the entire game you can come into this room as Mario. You'll see what I mean later. But yeah, there's really nothing special here, it's just a little thing. A frame photo of Mario! That was kind of disturbing. This guy! I want to talk to him. Okay, no, it's only because very polite to go into a room without asking her first Mario. I said no, and that means no! You are simply not allowed to go in there! Keep talking, keep talking. Boy, you're persistent. I guess I'll have- I have no choice. Hurry up in there, though, and don't touch anything. So this guy is interesting. Talking to him five times will allow us to go in. 
and we can poke around through her dresses. Her dresses are all beautiful, but they all look the same. This must be her favorite style of dress. A framed photo of Mario. I always remember there being a heart there, but there's not. There are some cosmetics. Mario looks fine without them. <laughs> Quite a fluffy bed. It looks like this bed was designed for sweet dreams. It doesn't seem to open. A vase full of lovely flowers. They smell heavenly. How can you tell? You're like five feet away from them because you're so short. So that's a little secret that we can do here at the beginning where we can go into Peach's room without permission. How was it, to tell you the truth? I've never seen the inside of her room. So there's a fun little secret, being able to go into Peach's room if you are rude and persistent enough. But what's less known about this guy is that he will move out of the way in the direction that Mario is facing for, you know, aesthetics and all that, so he's not walking through Mario. So for some reason, if we talk to him from the left five times, and then talk to him, <laughs> I envy you, Mario. Talk to him from, uh, talk to him again 21 times. Huh? Absolutely not. I don't think it's very polite to go into a room without asking first, Mario. It loads a garbage value and thinks that the number of times you've talked to him is over 4 billion and it can't handle that. So, he then walks over there and guards this side instead because he cannot walk further away from Mario. It's weird. I It's not known at all why that happens and I certainly am not the one to solve this mystery, but I thought I'd show that to you that he behaves strangely if he's talked to a lot and it's one of the rare times that this ever happens. You have a spin dash in this game. Yes, I think Mario was getting a little jealous of Sonic the Hedgehog as they were still competing at this point in time. Ah, God. Spin dash! Spin dashing! I wish I was Sonic. Or whatever. I remember just laying down in the top bunk of my futon as a kid and just enjoying this song, and it's such a nostalgic feeling. It was one of the few times that I realized I was in the good old days before they were gone. I think I said the same thing about Bean Bean Castle in Mario and Luigi. I was just resting in it. It gets tiring greeting all those guests out there. Oh, you poor baby, having to greet people. And sit on your ass the rest of the day on your throne. Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat, just the two of us? It was lovely today, so I'm sure it'll be comfortable out on the balcony right now. Will you accompany Mario? No! Eh, she's gonna make me anyway. Oh, looks like I'm getting out easy on this one. Earthquake! Someone said you were restless for me. I was just resting a bit. It gets tiring greeting all those guests out there. Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat? Just the two of us? It was a lovely day today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me, Mario? Well, that didn't take long! This is so like the beginning of Super Mario Galaxy. Oh, are you alright? What in the world was that? And she hops up. Oh my, look Mario, it's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see stars outside! No shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to cuss right there. That's not really my style. Oh my, look Mario! It's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see stars outside. You fool! We're, we'll be sucked into the vacuum of space! <laughs> Long time no see, Princess Peach. <laughs> Long time no see, Princess Peach! Take a look at this! Look what I stole from Star Haven! It's the Star Rod! I'm really stole from Kirby. This fine piece of work has the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. And when I use the Star Rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario! Actually, when I first played the original Super Smash Brothers, I had never played a Kirby game at the time, so I thought the Star Rod was taken from Paper Mario, uh, which is kind of funny. I gotta say, one damage is certainly better than we usually do when jumping on his head. Usually that doesn't go so well. Come on, keep jumping on him. No, you really can't do that in the other games. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night! Boy, sure is a good thing he missed. It's not even worth my time to tour with you anymore, Mario. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night. And that would have killed us in one hit. I don't get why you just didn't do that from the beginning, but okay. That all, Mario's no match for the king. As long as I have the star ride, everything I wish for will look over. No one can stop me now. Why doesn't he just wish that we're dead? A lot of people have wondered what happens if you actually hack the game and beat him. It actually, the game just freezes. Because there's nothing for that. Oh no, Mario! And Kami Koopa blabs off to those guys. Well, alright, we're gonna leave this off here, alright? 
So if you like this part, subscribe to my videos up in the corner, big yellow button, give me a five star views down below this video. Be sure to come out the parts if you like this one, okay? I will see you guys later. And the title. Oh my god, I've been playing Paper Mario this whole time. I never would have guessed. Prology! A plea from the stars! That's, that's how I pronounced prologue when I was a kid, and I, I thought it was funny when I remembered that.